Hello guys welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn signing, forgot password and sending mail using SendGrid. Let's get started. First, you have to export and create sign-in controller. Then get the request body from the user. In this REST API, we use email and password for sign-in, requesting both email and password then validating the data. For sign-in we need to check the registered user's email and password in the database and validate the user's detail and generate the JWT token. Let's find the email and password in the database. First, we have to find whether email exists or not in the database. If not exist we need to show the message to sign up the new users, creating account. Now we have to authenticate the users and allow them to generate the JWT token, JSON Web Token. Let's do it.
To generate JSON web token for the particular user we need to pass JWT secret. What is the use of JSON web token? JWT, or JSON web token, is an open standard used to share security information between two parties, a client and a server. Each JWT contains encoded JSON objects, including a set of claims. JWTs are signed using a cryptographic algorithm to ensure that the claims cannot be altered after the token is issued. Should I use JSON web tokens? Yes. JWTs are a good way of securely transmitting information between parties because they can be signed, which means you can be sure that the senders are whom they say they are. Additionally, the structure of a JWT allows you to verify that the content hasn't been tampered with. Now we are using the user ID to generate the JWT token then we are going to give admin access, admin middleware access, let's create an admin middleware access.
Here admin access helps to manage other users' details like edit, delete, and update. We are using role. Of all the users one is an admin and another one is a subscriber. Let's check whether the user is an admin or not. If he is an admin, then give the permission to access the other routes. Admin access control is finished now we are going to add forgot password functionality.
For resetting the password we are going to use the email ID. Then send the reset password link and set the expiring time for the reset password link. For this process, we need to add JWT token and use that secret to update the password in the database. Let's do it. First we have to design an HTML template and send to reset password link to the user's email. Using send grid let's design the HTML template. The back and forth has got me so messed up, don't ignore the signs we've had enough of the whole damn thing that we got going. You hold the strings without me knowing. Why do I have to suffer through the thinking? Why do I? Let's add error handling and send grid configuration.
That's all guys today. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos next video will be Google login and Facebook, Meta, login. Thanks for watching this video please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thanks.